The BBC recently decided to bolster the flagging credibility of third wave feminism by showcasing this masterpiece, Feminist Music. The performers are from a theatre production called Sirens, which, quote, explores what it means to be a modern-day feminist. In Greek mythology, Sirens were enchanting femme fatales who lured sailors to shipwreck by the beauty of their voices. But the only things likely to be lured by this racket are horny foxes looking to copulate. <coughs> the BBC described it as an irreverent feminist manifesto for the 21st century. To me, it sounds like a bag of cats being thrown against a wall. Well, actually, if you were to check your male privilege for a second, you'd understand that the abstract screen singing is symbolic of the female struggle against endemic rape culture, misogyny, and intersectional patriarchal bigotry. In another promo for the play, the sirens take out their feminist frustrations on a toy doll. <laughs> and their tool skills appear to be about as capable as their singing. Well, actually, if you'd attended your mandatory gender studies re-education class, you'd understand that the doll is symbolic of heteronormative gender identity oppression imposed upon women by the androcentric cisgender conspiracy. <laughs> if this is what feminists consider to be art, then it's no wonder that the Gamergate crowd are petrified of feminists taking over the video game industry. But isn't it emblematic of how far feminists are divorced from reality? That this is what both they and broadcasters like the BBC think puts them in a positive light. <laughs> Check out the other videos, subscribe to the channel. I'm Paul Joseph Watson for Infowars.com.